Even though the race has been postponed until August, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway still wants us to celebrate the spirit of the 500 this weekend. It's my kids' favorite weekend. We listen to the race on the radio, and they don't know what to do. Joining me live is the president of IMS, Doug Bowles. Doug, so good to see you. Well, thanks for having me. I wish I were coming to you from the Speedway as we were welcoming fans. We'd be just about ready to get uh, cars on track to do that final practice before the 104th running of the 500. It's a really I, weird time. It is a weird time, and we're thinking about, we've been talking all week, all week about what it would have been like to have the race Sunday with the, the temperatures in the 80s and how the race, you know, the drivers and the teams would be adjusting to the hot track. Tell me and put it into perspective a little bit about to, still for you and others trying to celebrate the month of May, doing it virtually, and then knowing August is coming soon. Yeah, it is really odd, but we felt like, you know, it's such a part of tradition for folks. The race is important, but it's all the other things you do around the race that really make mm -hmm. the Indianapolis 500 so cool. So we're doing the hashtag 500 at home, encouraging people today to do some carb day related activities at home and let us know how you're doing that legends day tomorrow. And then obviously race down Sunday. It's weird for me because by now, this point in time, I would have moved into the speedway and probably wouldn't be coming home for, you know, until next Tuesday. So it's kind of weird to wake up at home and then, uh, uh, not have anything to do, which is crazy. I know we're still we're going to decorate as if it's you know an Indy 500 weekend at our house. We are getting carry out from a well known Speedway barbecue place. So we're doing our things. I know one other thing that you want folks to do. We're going to talk about some of them are having these porch parties, mm -hmm. social distancing. But tell me how, what you want people to do. Well, you know, uh, the porch parties are things that folks do normally anyway, so we're asking people to have those parties on their porches, socially distance. I'm going to actually drive around tonight and surprise some people that are having Aww. some parties with some uh, with some goodie, uh, goodie bags, so I'll enjoy that. That's part of the fun that we have in May is seeing those, so asking them to do that. Uh, just be really safe when you do it, and then uh, we'll see what happens on Sunday. I'm sure a lot of people will be wandering around outside the gates of the Speedway just because it's what they do on Sunday, on, on Memorial Day Sunday. Well, and, and that's interesting that you say that because virtually there's going to be a lot of different things happening, but the cannon blast, I mean, if you are walking outside, are we still going to be able to hear that, and can we hear that virtually? We're going to do a virtual cannon blast. We talked about doing a real one, but uh, probably going to let the neighbors sleep in, and we'll do a virtual <laughs> cannon blast. And in my mind, the cannon blast really going off really does mean need to mean that the gates are going to open. And since they're not going to open uh, this year, we're just going to do that virtually. I think that's the best way to handle it. Yeah, and then there's something about biking the 500. What do you? What is that all about? Well, bike to the 500 has been a huge thing the last few years. In fact. Andrew Luck is one of our biggest bike to the 500 folks. He bikes from downtown to the 500. And we've really been encouraging people, bike on out, park your bike. We have a special place for folks to park their bikes and then come in for the 500. We'll continue to do that. But we're also wanting people to get out on your bikes, stay, you know, stay healthy. Uh, it's a great way to get outside, get some of that vitamin D that we all need. And then uh, hopefully we'll see uh, folks on bikes in August, on August 23rd, when we get to have the 104th running. Well, we cannot wait for August. And um, we've been talking about Gleaners and what you guys are going to be doing out there, mm -hmm. all of that information. Our next uh, Zoom or Skype is trying to get in on your time. So we're going to get off here until, in case something happens. But thank you so much. And we can't well, thank wait. thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks for having me, and just remember to hashtag 500 at home. We'll look forward to seeing how people are celebrating this weekend in a strange way, but stay healthy. Hey, thank you. Good to see you. Thank if you me. would like more information, again, on hashtag 500 at home, go to fox59.com slash links. Let's do it up. You know, dress appropriately.